Um, good evening. Oh no, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually today's topic is about women, and it was really difficult for me to even pick a topic. So I just decided to go for women's life since I'm a woman or lady. So I'm gonna mainly focus on what it's like to be a woman in South Korea or in, gen in general. So. This is us. So this is when we are baby, and this one is when we are in the um, age of seven to ten, like around grade school. Mm -hmm. And this is us in a teenager life. So obviously we were born in happy white beds, always you know having like the most beautiful smile and expected to grow up as um, as a beautiful woman. And then yeah, and then we move on to the other sense. So, which is teenager, and that obviously the uh, picture shows that parents are trying to say something to their kid, their daughter, and we don't listen. We are too busy about doing our uh, business. <laughs> <laughs> so what we and then I started thinking, what did I do when I was a teenager? So it was mainly focused on the appearance. I was too busy trying to make myself look pretty and cute, <laughs> and the other one is the education. And dating, menstru menstruation, which is period, mm -hmm. and self esteem, and sometimes in the worst case, not for me, but some worst case, uh, we do drugs or smoking. I'm not saying it's bad. Actually, it's bad. But we, I understand that we are young and that we just want to try something new and be cool about it. That's a lot of uh, teenagers start how uh, how they start smoking because they just want to know what it is like and look cool about it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move on to the appearance there. So I'm sure everybody has done standing on the mirror and then, you know, pose being cute or like, oh, today I look kind of nice. <laughs> or maybe boys will give a chase after me today. Or maybe if we have a boyfriend, Okay, well, my boyfriend will gonna think that I look beautiful today, and something like that. And even we dream of being a model. A lot of girls actually imagine that I can be a model, you know. <laughs> or um, sometimes we go, we try things that we probably shouldn't, like drinking. Like all the kids, they look like, what are we doing? But well, we are doing it anyway because we are curious, which is understandable. And uh, the, the last picture has been um, about our self esteem, like uh, who we are. On the teenager life, we mostly think about who we are, why we are doing this, why we born, or you know, like, um, why should I live? Can I die? Something like that, you know. And then. Um, we jump into the university and I don't know a lot of students go for university for many reasons like uh, learning something new which is the best case or some people just go because they have to or some people just go to meet a boy and that is the moment that I want to focus on mostly since we are in the 20s and we are the woman Actually, we are a lady, not yet a woman, but we are having to be a woman, right? And then I was imagining, I was thinking that um, one of the biggest deal that in Korea, women in South Korea, we are asked to be safe, united, and that sometimes we feel insecure because we don't want to be um, all the same, or sometimes we, I wore like this. But our trend is about wearing pink. <laughs> then I should feel suddenly insecure because I wear white. But this is the only clothes that I have, right? And then we are to um, focus on the standard of beauty. So one example that I can give. Yesterday I went to the cosmetics, um, not cosmetic, der dermatologist. And then I just wanted to check on my skin because it's getting really bad. Mm -hmm. And then I actually did a, a couple of the tests, like taking pictures. And then the doctor, and then I talked with the doctor, uh, talking about what we can do about my skin. That is the point. And then he started asking me if I need to do some kind of buttocks because my forehead is too flat. Oh my or, goodness. <laughs> I can't 
make my gel a little bit very sharper than now. And I was thinking, like, is he one of the person who is trying to make me look like um, their ideal doll? Because I'm, I'm not saying that um, cosmetic surgery is bad. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying before we jump into that, we got to think, do we really need one? Like, do, do we really think that we're going to make us look prettier? And then, um, which was the worst, um, worst experience that I could have. <laughs> and, and then the positive side that we could to, uh, persuade ourselves to do in South Korea mostly, and so we got to um, make ourselves more diversity, which is opposed to the unity. And then we got to focus on how to be ourselves as a woman. And then we got to uh, pursue the, uh, our own beauty. And then we, I, I think we actually born with this because on the, pro I'm sorry, on the, the first picture, we have beautiful smile like this. We believe that we are the beautiful Person, we're always happy of who we are, even though we have a lot of pimples on our face. <laughs> and now, now we are too obsessed with the um, idol group out there, or being trying to be idolized by others. So I think, why do we do this? Like, is that the society pressure that is around us? And then I start thinking, it's not actually. Like, society people can say whatever they want. But it's because as a woman, we didn't um, make our own space to think what we are, we have to be like, or what who we are like. So when we are actually, if we spend our teenager, adolescent life, on focusing on who we are, uh, what we want to be, and then accepting our beauty, mm -hmm. and say, okay, I look fine, or I look beautiful, I have a beautiful eyes. It may be different with others, but my eyes are actually have got something, something like that. So I think that is the most uh, factor that we got to focus on to become a woman. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why that we need to pursue those things and consider when we are in adolescence and even 20s life. Mm -hmm. It's because we go to university and after that we go jump into the working life, right? And why do we work? Some people just go and get married and be happy wife at home, which is totally fine. But we usually go to work. Why? Number one is to survive, and number two is happiness. Because we sometimes we find ourselves uh, better when we are working or do something that we like. And then sometimes we just go there, you know, thinking just. I'm here because they hired me and I'm going to just work for you guys. And then after working, we jump into the marriage life, mm -hmm. generally, not always. And we become a mother or wife or family, have a family, right? And that is why it's crucial because when we are becoming a mother, from my point of view, I, I really want to be a mother in the future, mm -hmm. I hope. <laughs> and uh, we got to raise our own kid. And then being a mother is different than being a father. We go to raise our offspring. We got to tell them what is right or what's wrong. And we got to deal with their adolescence, teenage life, just like I has for it. Mm -hmm. So we got to strong, we got to um, stand up for our own position. And we got to um, spend our life uh, as a woman strong boys so that way we can raise our kids as stronger than we were so i think it's really crucial to be a woman in this life than for that or i'm just saying for my thoughts so what i can give from this is i made a <laughs> make most of your life be a mother or be a worker whoever you want to be but be strong as a woman not the weak person whoever uh, tell you to do and you know feel like you're not living your own life or something like that. So that is my uh, quote and this is my reference. It's mostly from my brain and thoughts. And I got images from Google. <laughs>